Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tom Cat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today, Sunday Sew Along, we have another tutorial. Um, today I'm actually showing you how I mark and sew my darts, both in wovens and in knits. Now um, I know the way that I sew my knits or uh, woven darts is um, actually a lot of people when they see me do it they're like oh my gosh that's how I was taught and blah blah blah. Um, I actually picked it up from Lauren Taylor, Ladybird. She's the gal that does does, um, all the jeans making classes all over the US and Canada I think um, anyway she had done a quick clip on her Instagram account a few years ago I saw it and was like this is so smart and I've been sewing my darts this way ever since so um, we'll be doing the woven dart first and then we'll be doing the knit dart and the knit dart I picked up that way of sewing it from um, Pamela, uh, is it Leggett? From Pamela's Patterns. Um, I saw her do this in a class, and now I can't remember what class, but it was her, <laughs> um, for doing darts, my knit darts this way. Now, you can definitely sew your knit darts the same way you sew your woven darts if you want to. The dart area doesn't really ever need to stretch, especially if you have a dart in your knit garment. Usually it's a little bit boxier. Um, but I just prefer this way for sewing my darts and my knits, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. All right, let me know, as always, if you have any questions down below. If you do enjoy this kind of content um, I, and would like to help support the channel, I do have a coffee account, which is like a virtual tip jar that is linked in the description box below. All of the proceeds from that go right back into the channel for you know supplies, um, equipment, maintenance on equipment, <laughs> an issue with my fancy lens on my camera, um, you know, lighting, all that kind of stuff. All of the myriad of tripods I've been going through to try and find the best angles. So, and I played around a little bit with the angles on this one, so you'll have to let me know what you think. It's still a work in progress, folks. All right, um, I hope you enjoyed this one, and um, again, leave questions down below, answer those as soon as possible, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Okay, so let me show you first how I mark and then sew my darts on woven garments and then we will go to knit garments. They're just a little bit different. Okay, so this um, this bodice for the woven, I'm using the Cashmere at Upton. Um, I'm actually getting ready to make two of these right now. So this, and I'm doing the square neckline that's here. Anyway, <laughs> this is the darted bodice. This pattern comes with two, but this is the darted one. Um, and I have two darts here, but that's because I grade from a size. I'm making everything size 10 and I grade to a 12 at the waist. So I'll be cutting out the, um, or marking the 12 dart at the waist because I'm using the 12 waistband and all that. And the 10 dart at the bust because that I was grading. So don't let that confuse you. But first, I'm just going to cut my dart legs. And I just clip into the seam allowance. Like, I don't know, an eighth of an inch, maybe. Oh, that was wrong. Like an eighth of an inch, just so I can see that. Then I'm going to put a pin right at the top of both of those. And now I'm going to take my friction, my friction pin, pilot friction pin. This goes away with um, heat, but you could use chalk or whatever your marking pin of preference is. And I have right sides out on this um, fabric. So I'm just going to go in between my layers here. So this is on the wrong side and I'm just marking right where that pin goes through the fabric and the paper. I'll do the same here. I'm just going to mark right where that pin goes through. So now we have our tip and then we've marked the ends of our legs. Okay. And that's all we're doing on our woven. So that's all the marking we need to do for our woven pieces. And, um, yeah, now I will go show you how I like to sew my darts. All right. So now we are over here. And we're going to do the bust, one of the bust starts here. So I'm just going to open this up. So see, we've got here, we've got our, our um, point of our dart. And then we've got our, we've clipped into the legs of our dart right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these over, right sides together. 
and match up those cut dart legs, which are right there. And my pins are walking away on me. And I'm just gonna put a pin to keep that pinched. Then I'm gonna do a fold right there at that point that's right there. I'm gonna put a pin right at the point of that dart. Okay? So now what I'm gonna do is pull out a long piece of thread here. And right at the edge of that dart leg, I'm just going to really quickly anchor my thread. So I do my little back stitch. I'm still on the seam allowance there. I can pull that pin out now. And now it's kind of hard to see, I'm kind of off. I'm gonna take this thread and I'm gonna line it up to the point there. And actually I'm gonna have it go off the fold just like a quarter of an inch above that point. You'll see it as we work up a little bit. And then I'm just sewing and following that line. So see, I've got my thread about a quarter of an inch above that point. And the reason for that is that when I get down here, I wanna get right on the fold. So by the time I get to the fold, or to the point, I should be right on the fold. So I want it literally like a thread away from sewing off of it. I'm gonna pick it up, turn everything around, move my guide thread out of the way. And I'm gonna sew back into the dart bulk right along that fold for, I don't know, like a half of an inch and then back stitch. So can you see that? I've sewn all the way to the point and then I've sewn back kind of like right along that fold edge right there and then back stitched and then cut it. It is much easier to sew. You don't have to do any tying off and it keeps your dart from being pointy. Now, I cannot take credit for this <laughs> method. Um, actually, a lot of people, when they see that I've uh, done this, apparently this is the way that it used to be taught. Um, gosh, that may be Nancy Zeman or even just like high school, like home ec. But I learned this um, from Lauren from Ladybird. She is the jean making master. And um, she did an Instagram story and did them this way. It's been a couple of years ago now. And I was like, of course, that makes so much sense. So now, <laughs> so that's, I've just done it this way ever since. So now everything will line up. I mean, obviously I've got to give this a good press. Oh. But then you get a really nice, once everything is pressed, just a really nice end of your dirt right there. Okay, so that's how I do darts on my wovens. Now we will go over to the table and I'll show you how I do them on my knits. Okay, I'm trying a different tripod for this angle. If you prefer the above angle more, let me know. <laughs> okay, um, you've probably already seen a couple of videos with this angle though. Just trying this out, we can always go back to the other one. All right, so this is my knit pattern um, and I'm gonna be putting a dart in a knit pattern. Actually, um, this is the same pattern. I'm just, and it's meant for wovens. This is the hyssop, but um, I'm actually making it in both knit and a woven for my daughter. So um, what we're gonna do per normal, just gonna throw down my, because I um, mark my darts for my knits differently than I do for my wovens. So first, I'm just going to cut this out. Sorry, and my arm is like totally in the way. You don't need to see much here. Let me do this quick. <laughs> okay. Maybe the above the is better angle. All right, so once I have cut this all out, just really gonna quickly mark center front for myself later so I don't forget. Okay, so when I mark, um, the dart for my knits. It's similar to my wovens in that we are going to clip into the dart legs. Uh, can you, s maybe, yeah, above is better. Okay, I'm gonna clip into my dart legs. 
So I've clipped right here at that dart leg and right here at that dart leg. And then I'm going to put a pin right here. I feel like above is better. Um, at the dart point. I actually haven't filmed. You've seen the woven <laughs> before you've seen this one, but I'm filming them backwards. So I will go back to the overhead for the woven. All right, so I'm putting my pen right here at the point of the dart. Just kind of lifting that up to make sure that pen goes all the way through. Taking a friction, friction, friction pen. This is a, um, are these Pilot? Who makes these? Yeah, Pilot friction pens. They go away with heat. And I'm just going to go in between the layers because I cut my fabric with the right side up. Saying that. Yes. So on the wrong side, I'm just going to peel apart my layers very carefully and I can see where that pen's gone through. So I'm just going to mark that. So, so far the same as with um, the woven. But this time I'm going to take my straight edge. And the reason I'm marking my dart legs in for this is because this, uh, the way I sew this on the serger and I just need to have that line as my guide. I can't do the little thread trick when I'm with the serger. I'm gonna do the same on this side. All right. Okay, so there we have it. Our front dart is marked um, for our knit pattern. So now I will take you over to the serger and show you how I finish off. If you're using a sewing machine, which you totally can with the knits, um, and you can use a straight stitch, you would just do your dart the same way with the knit as you would with the woven. Because this is a horizontal dart, it doesn't need to stretch. So you can use a straight stitch and sew it just like you would a woven dart. But if you'd like to do it with the serger, I will show you how to do that now. All right, let's do some darts. Okay. So with our um, knit, we obviously, we drew in our dart here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this right sides together. I'm just going to match up that point. Now you could use wonder clips, you could use um, pins. Just remember, if you're using a serger, your, your pins are not your friend. <laughs> I usually just do two pins at the top and the bottom and just make sure that those are stacked on top of each other, especially with cotton jersey, it just doesn't move. But definitely if you're more comfortable, you can either, you could hand base that in, whatever you're most comfortable with. Okay, but now this is what I'm gonna do. So I have got one, two, three, four, five little notches on my serger here because I have um, the ability to run I guess five at once. And then I've got my two, one, two, three, one, two, three, actually six. Anyway, no, I guess one, okay, this converts to a, this converts to a um, uh, cover stitch as well. So these two on the left though are the ones I'm concerned with. So this is showing my needle placement for, um, yeah, I guess five because the others are loopers. Okay, so um, for my right and my left, because I'm doing a four, um, a four stitch, four thread surge is what I'm doing. So I am, what my goal is, is this line that I have dri drawn, I am lining it up with the left of the two, because that is the um, needle that is on the outside. So that's the one that actually is sewing like the stitch if I were using just one stitch, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do, and this is cutting off your dart bulk, so you gotta be sure about this, is I'm just lining up that line with the far left notch here. I'm not paying attention to my needles at all. So then I'm just gonna start, and it will cut off to a point, but then it'll stop cutting off because we won't have that excess. And I'm just now surging right off. And I'm gonna give myself a really long tail. So there we go. I've gone a little past my my dot my um dart point, but I mean I think that's that's knit. I'm fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna here at the side seam, I'm just gonna clip that. But then here at the end, we are actually going to knot. But 
This doesn't give you the um, unattractive point like, oops, I didn't mean to pull that so hard. Okay, so what I'm doing is I just want to, oh, I pulled that too hard. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Tied a knot where I didn't want a knot. I just stick my um, darning needle into that loop and pull that. I don't want it super snug, but just, you know, pull that. I mean, snug up to the fabric because we don't want to make anything pucker. And now I'm just threading my darning needle with my tail. Oops, sorry. And now I'm going to feed that through back into the dart bulk or that seam. Maybe. Ugh, darn not. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And then... I'm just going to cut off that excess. Okay, so there we have it. And then when you go and press it right sides together, you get a beautiful dart without any of the dart bulk. And technically it is stretchy as well. Although, like I said, if you wanted to sew this with a sewing machine, you could but with a straight stitch. You don't really need your darts to be stretchy. So there you have it. That is how I sew a dart with the serger. Let me know if you have any questions down below. All right.